Disney Frozen, The Ghost of Arendelle. One afternoon, Anna and Olaf were in the Royal Library when Olaf spied a large pink book. Ooh, I like this one, Olaf said. Wait, what's it about? Anna read the title aloud, How to Find a Ghost. I love ghosts, Olaf announced. What's a ghost? Well, it's... Anna smiled and put her book down. I have an idea. Follow me. Minutes later, Anna and Olaf burst into Elsa's office. Elsa, Anna said. Olaf wants to learn about ghosts, and I think... We should have an indoor camp out and go looking for one, Elsa finished. Exactly, Anna said. Hours later... Elsa gathered some snacks from the kitchen, and Anna grabbed lots of pillows and blankets from their bedrooms. Then they met Olaf and began to look for a dark, spooky room they could use. They ended up in an old, unused portion of the castle. I can't wait to learn about ghosts, Olaf said. Let's make a fire and roast marshmallows first, Anna said. Ooh, I just love warm fireplaces, Olaf declared. After the sisters had eaten their fill of roasted marshmallows, and Olaf had created a sticky marshmallow tower, they settled down with their blankets and pillows. Is it time to learn about ghosts? Olaf asked. Yes, Anna said. You go first, Elsa. Elsa laid the book in her lap and began to read. Long ago, on a dark night in Arendelle, she whispered, she continued her story as Olaf listened, wide-eyed. A while later, Elsa heard Anna snore. Anna had fallen asleep. Well, Olaf, I guess my ghost story made Anna pretty tired. Come to think of it, I'm tired too, Elsa said as she yawned and snuggled down under her blanket. Maybe we'll find a ghost tomorrow. I'd like to meet a ghost, Olaf said before blowing out the candles. Soon, both sisters were sound asleep, but Olaf couldn't rest. He wanted to meet a ghost as soon as possible. As he looked through the book, he remembered something Elsa had read to him. Apparently, ghosts got lonely and wandered around at night. Sometimes I get lonely and wander around at night too, Olaf said. Maybe the ghost and I could wander together. As Olaf walked down the hallway, he noticed how dark it was. The only light came from the windows. He looked right and he looked left. He looked up and down, but he didn't see any ghosts. Hello, Olaf said aloud. Ghost? I'm here to be your friend. But nobody answered. Olaf turned a dark corner at the end of the hallway and then... Thunk! Thump! Thump, thump, thump! Thump! Olaf tumbled down a staircase! Thump! Anna and Elsa woke with a start. What was that? They asked in unison. Then, I don't know. And where is Olaf? Anna asked. Elsa lit some candles and they wandered into the hallway. Ooh! came a little voice from the bottom of the staircase. Anna gasped. (gasps) That sounded like... A ghost, Elsa said. They crept down, down, down the stairs. Hello, are you there, Sir Ghost, Elsa said. We want to be your friends, Anna added. Oh, 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 I want to be friends too, the ghost said. Anna and Elsa stopped short. Are you ghosts, the ghost said. Wait, said Anna suspiciously. Elsa quickly pulled off the sheet. Ooh, I can see again, Olaf exclaimed. Thank you, ghost that looks just like Elsa. I am Elsa, (laughs) she replied with a laugh. Oh, okay, said Olaf. Then he pointed to Anna. And you are Anna, said Anna. Olaf, you made this our best ghost hunt ever, said Anna. But I didn't find any ghosts. Olaf replied. Well, maybe you didn't, 
but you became the best ghost-like snowman we've ever seen, Elsa declared. I hope you enjoyed this story time. I know, I loved it. I can't wait to see you again right here for our next story. Bye! I'm Scarlet, and today I'll be reading Disney's Frozen 2, Anna Elsa, and the Secret River. Disney Frozen 2, Anna Elsa, and the Secret River. One night, Elsa and Anna's mother sang them a lullaby about a secret white river flowing with answers to the past. Anna pretended to sleep. Elsa had just closed her eyes and drifted off when... Anna shook her awake. Let's go find the white river! Let it go, said Elsa. It's time to sleep. But I have a million questions! said Anna, and the White River could have all the answers. And don't you wonder why you have magic? At that, Elsa sat up. Let's go! It didn't take them long to slip out of the castle and into the forest. How will we find the White River? asked Anna. We've got to use our eyes, said Elsa. Look, shouted Anna. I think I see it. The sisters ran toward a gleaming reflection, but it was only a stream. Now what? asked Anna. A stream can lead to a river, said Elsa. But the stream only led to a pond. Maybe if we listen, we'll find the White River, said Elsa. Anna heard the sound of rushing water. They raced to meet the river. But all they found was a boulder with wind rushing through it. If only we could smell the White River, said Anna. What would it smell like, asked Elsa. Answers, said Anna. And reindeer? This is ridiculous, said Elsa. The sisters had used their eyes, their ears, and their noses. They still hadn't found the White River but they kept trying. I can't see a thing, said Anna. Try looking out the other end, said Elsa. As the hours passed, Anna and Elsa grew tired. They continued to explore. Elsa found an old shield glinting in the moonlight. I thought we were close, said Anna. They felt like giving up. Suddenly the wind lifted Anna. Its power took the girls by surprise. Something caught Anna's eye. The wind gently returned Anna to the ground. The sisters raced toward the White River. But it was only an ice mountain glittering in the breaking dawn. It's almost morning, said Elsa. But we didn't find the White River, said Anna. Now what do we do? Sleep, said Elsa. Suddenly, the girls were snug again in their bed. In the morning, Anna shook Elsa awake. Let's go find the White River. It's only in a lullaby, said Elsa. But then, she wondered if their adventure had all been a dream. I hope you enjoyed the story time. I know, I loved it. I can't wait to see you again for our next story right here. Frozen Discover Your Nature, where we create, explore, and learn. I'm Alexander, and today is the first day of spring. So in honor of the new season, my sister and I will be teaching you how to garden. It's one of our favorite spring activities. We'll start by showing you how to plant a flower seed and take care of it. This way your flower grows big and tall, just like marshmallows. Then we'll show you how to repot a flower and give it a new home. Similar to how Elsa found a new home in the enchanting forest. Oh, here's my sister with the seeds now. Hi, Alexander. Thank you. Everyone, this is my big sister, Alyssa. Alyssa, this is everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the first day of spring, my absolute favorite season. Today's like a version of Elsa's coronation day. What? How? 
Well, first off, we're both excited that today is finally here. And also, this day signifies the start of something new. This garden will begin to change because it's springtime. Yeah, that is true. There's going to be greenery everywhere. It's going to look just like Anna and Elsa's garden. And maybe we'll even see some ducks. <laughs> well, maybe not the ducks. But if you and I put a lot of work into this garden, it can be just as beautiful as theirs. Ah, uh, okay. So you're saying we should hold off the ducks until summer? No problem. <laughs> For now, this could be our enchanted garden that we call rule. Exactly. So, Your Highness, let's start planting. Sounds good, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> First, we're going to plant some sunflower seeds. You and your family can buy plant seeds from any plant or flower nursery. Sunflowers are one of the easiest flowers to take care of. So if this is your first time gardening, you can start with these flowers. They won't be too much of a hassle for you. And within a week or two, you'll see them sprouting. And one thing to remember, although these sunflower seeds look like they're the ones that we can eat, they aren't. These sunflower seeds are specifically for gardening. So make sure you use the right ones. Trust us, you don't want to make that mistake. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, now to put these in the soil. I love the smell of spring. The fresh air, the grass, and especially the flowers. Flowers smell so good in spring. Yeah, you're right. I love playing with the dirt and being with nature. All the elements of nature, earth, fire, wind, and water, come into play here in this garden, just like in the enchanted forest. The plant needs the elements in order to survive. We need to take care of the seeds so they grow big and strong. <laughs> you can cover the seed a little bit with soil. Make sure you water it, not too wet. Keep it moist. You can check it with your hand. Make sure there's sun and warmth for seed germination. What's germination? Germination is the process which an organism grows from a seed. For example, some flowers usually germinate in spring, and then they bloom in summer. It basically, it means when a plant sprouts. Ah, <laughs> looking good. Now on to repotting a full-grown flower. Taking care of a plant is kind of like being an older sibling, or even a younger sibling. Like, I take care of Alex, and he takes care of me. Kind of like how Elsa takes care of Anna, and Anna takes care of Elsa. You sacrificed yourself for me? I love you. Siblings have a very important bond, and we should always care for each other. I designed my pot with blue snowflakes, because that's Elsa's power. And also, I have gusts of snow over here, like Elsa's blasting some ice at you. And it's blue, the color of Elsa's dress, and it also happens to be my favorite color. I put leafy designs, and I also used the color purple. I also put some wind on there, like this one over here. I put it because of its important element, especially in pollination. And now we're repotting a, hmm, full-grown flower? Yeah, this marigold flower would be considered full-grown. Yeah, you're right. My African daisy is also full-grown. So every year, our family welcomes a spring season by going to a plant nursery and choosing a flower to take care of. We then bring them home and repot them in a larger flower pot so they have more room to grow. I chose the marigold flower because it's beautiful. They bloom in about eight weeks, and it's another flower that's great for kids or people that are new to gardening. Not to mention, marigold flowers can also help protect your vegetables from predators and pests. And I chose the African daisy flower because of the colors. It's a similar style to the classic daisy, but the colors of the African daisy could be purple, white, or yellow. And these can be put in the ground or in containers and still bloom nicely. African daisy need a lot of sun and should be watered and fertilized regularly between spring and fall. It's best to water the marigold flower at the base of the plant and not from overhead. Everyone loves Olaf, so I'm really glad Elsa helped Olaf by giving him a snow cloud so he could survive in the spring. <gasps> My own personal flurry. <laughs> Just like Elsa took care of Olaf, we need to take care of my plants during different seasons by repotting it. Hmm, looking good, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> this was really fun. I enjoyed spending time with nature and with you, of course. It was. I really like seeing these beautiful flowers and repotting them was really fun too. 
Spring is full of possibilities, so take advantage of it. Yep, because there's so much to do outdoors. You can bike ride, go for a walk, have a picnic, hike, play tag, feed the ducks, bird watch, go fishing, fly kite. Yeah, so we should get started on some of those. I'm one step ahead of ya. Thank you so much for watching and celebrating spring with us. That's all the time we have today. We're off on a new adventure. And don't forget, nature's yours to discover. I'm Alexander. And I'm Melissa. Until next time, bye. bye. Wait, don't we need to water these? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm Scarlett, and today I'll be reading Snow and Chell from Disney's Frozen 5-Minute Stories. Disney Frozen Snow and Tell It had been a few months since Olaf had helped Anna and Elsa end the eternal winter in Arendelle. And as one of the kingdom's newest residents, he wasted no time in exploring his home. Olaf loved seeing new sights, hearing new sounds, and smelling new smells. One day, Olaf happened upon a group of children. A parade, he squealed. I love parades. Hi, Olaf, a girl named Lisbeth said. What are you doing today? Just wandering around town, Olaf replied. You mean wandering, she said. No, wandering. I'm wondering why you are parading inside when it's so nice out. <laughs> it's not a parade. Lisbeth giggled. It's school. Then she followed her classmates into the building. Olaf was curious. He'd never been to a place called school before. Peering through the window, Olaf saw Lisbeth. She was in front of the class, sharing her collection of seashells. They were different shapes, sizes, and colors. My shells are special to me because my papa is a fisherman. He sails a boat to many different places, and he always brings shells back to me from his trips. Then the teacher, Miss Halverson, welcomed Olaf inside. Would you care to join us? She asked. Really? Could I? Olaf asked. We're having show and tell, said Lisbeth. Ooh, gasped Olaf. I love show and tell. That's my favorite. What is it? Miss Halverson explained that the students were sharing their collections, groups of items that had special meaning for them. It was Finn's turn next. He poured smooth, shiny marbles into his hand for the class to see. Olaf noticed that collections could be made up of all sorts of things, like marbles, rocks, figurines, or even fish. Olaf loved hearing about all the different collections the children had brought in. Suddenly, he raised his hand. Miss Halverson, can I share my collection too? Olaf asked. I think you mean, may I share my collection? Miss Halverson said. Of course, Olaf said. She smiled. Go ahead, Olaf. It's your turn. Hi, I'm Olaf, he said, and I like warm hugs. I collect them from everyone I meet. Miss Halverson smiled again. Olaf, collections are usually made of things you can touch. Olaf's eyes lit up, and he nodded with excitement. First, Olaf pulled off his carrot nose. Then, he reached up and took a handful of snow from his flurry. Next, he pulled out an icicle with the tip broken off from behind his back. It was certainly an unusual collection. He placed each item on Miss Halverson's desk. Olaf, Miss Halverson began, I don't think you understand. Items in a collection have value or meaning. Yes, they're unique, right. They're special in some way. Gotcha. Miss Halverson looked at all the items on her desk. Usually we collect things that aren't just parts of our bodies. But Olaf pointed out that his carrot nose was not just part of his body. It was the first gift he'd ever received. This carrot reminds me of the day I met my friends Anna and Sven, Olaf explained. When Anna gave me the carrot to use as my nose, Sven was so cute, he kept trying to kiss it. So whenever I see it, it makes me smile. One of the children raised her hand. What's special about snow? Olaf pointed to the small cloud over his head. This is my own personal flurry. My friend Elsa gave this to me. 
he said. She said Snowman didn't last long in a summer sun. Now, wherever I go, I think of her friendship. Miss Halverson began to understand. And the icicle? Olaf held it to his eye. I used this to watch for my friend Kristoff when he returned to the castle to save Anna, he explained. It reminds me of what true love looks like. When Olaf had finished sharing, he looked at Miss Halverson. Miss Halverson, your eyes melting, he said. With a smile, Miss Halverson wiped away a small tear. Then, the entire class cheered as they came up to hug the little snowman. Olaf was thrilled. His collection of hugs had just grown a lot. I hope you enjoyed the story time. I know, I loved it. I can't wait to see you again right here for our next story with the Frozen Friends Club, where the fun is always frozen. Bye! Welcome to the Frozen Friends Club. I'm Brandilyn. And I'm Dylan. Today, Brandon and I will show you how to hoodie. <laughs> Dylan, how about we bring in some help so we can really show everyone? I like that idea. Everyone, give a round of applause for my grandparents. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> so, a fun fact about my grandma is that she's been an educator for over 30 years. And, well, for my grandpa, let's just say he could cook up a gourmet meal in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us for the Frozen Fence Club. Yes, now we can officially hooga. <laughs> can do what? Hooga. Wait, we should tell everyone what hooga is first. Good idea, darling. <laughs> hooga, pronounced hooga, is spelled H-Y-G-G-E, but pronounced H-O-O-G-A. Hooga is a Danish term that can't be translated to one word, it's more about the feeling you experience. Yeah, who goes up feeling cozy and just enjoying the simple things in life? Yeah, like hanging out at home and playing games with family. Oh, ada ada. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We are going to play the game. Uh-huh. Fun it! Frozen 2 edition. The game is so much fun. It tests your visual skills and there are five different ways to play. But let's just play it the way Brian and I like to play. You deal with each player five cards. And the rest go on a deck. Then you flip over a card from the deck. Now you have to find an object on the card from the deck that matches with one of the objects on the card you're holding. When you find a matching object, quickly shout out the name of the object and place your card on top of that card. Every two cards should at least have one match. But if you don't spot the match, just slide that card to the bottom of your cards like this. Then you can try again finding that matching object. So right now, if you look at these two cards, can you spot the matching object? Great job. Oh, good job. Good job, Amai. Good job, Amai. Good job. <laughs> well, the first to have zero cards in their hands are the winners. So easy enough. Great, let's play. Is everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. Great, let's play. One, One two, two, three. three. Uh, trees! Good job, Dylan! <laughs> trees! I got trees too! <laughs> Good job, Brandon! Trees! Good job, oh. boy! Good job! <laughs> yeah! Me too! My salamander! I got it! <laughs> okay, good job, Good job. <laughs> well, fire salamander! Three top! Good job, boy! Good job, boy! Good job! <laughs> Elsa Snowflake! Elsa Snowflake! Good job! <laughs> Edmund! <laughs> you got Sven. <laughs> I have this too. I have one too. Oh, you got Sven. Good job, yeah. Grandma. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Carrots. Carrots. Oh, Grandma I got, got it one. first. Oh, carrots. Okay, no. Okay, I got carrots too. Okay, <laughs> people are down to one card. Uh, okay. Edmund. Yes, I win. <laughs> hey, one more round. One more round. Okay, let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. Water. water. Oh, good job, oh, good job, good job, my water. I got water too. Fire salamander. Fire good salamander. job. Oh, wow. I got Elsa. Elsa. Oh, you got it first. Okay, now I got Elsa. Um, Sven. Sven. <laughs> I got Sven too. Sven. I got Sven. Oh, give me that Sven too. Okay, I got Sven <laughs> too. <laughs> ah, that's Sven. Dreams. Carrots. Good job. <gasps> Carrots. <laughs> Good no. job. Carrots. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, let's get snacks to celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs>
Thanks, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> is that Elsa on the Frozen 2 oh my skin God. cheese? Wait, is that a snowflake? Yeah, yeah. of course. It's Frozen 2. Mm, let's see. Let's try, try, try a mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Do you know, they're a lot like Anna and Elsa. Well, Elsa brings it love each other lots. <laughs> yeah, I'd do anything for you, like mm, Elsa would yeah, do for yeah. Anna. Okay, but can you pass me my Elsa Maggie tail? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> the mac and cheese rights are delicious. Oh, okay, let's try. Oh my, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> That game made me really hungry. Oh, is that the Enchanted Forest thing? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna take another one. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick oh all of them. <laughs> Mom so makes good. the best snacks. Oh, so mm. good. So good. Oh my gosh, mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> me too. So good. Family time is important, and these moments are the one you should cherish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how we Google. Yes! Oh, well, thank you for watching this very special episode of the Frozen Friends Club, where we go into the unknown and always find something fun. I'm Brandolin. I am Dong. I'm Anna. And I'm Dylan. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Welcome to the Frozen Friends Club. I'm Isai. I'm Angela. And I'm Briella. Today we are going to be reimagining a scene from Frozen. But Ooh. how could we pick? There are so many good ones. She's right. Well, my favorite scene is when the big marshmallow chases Kristoff, Anna, and Olaf. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that pretty one good is scene. Really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Olaf tries stopping him because he's a snowman and Olaf's a snowman. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite scene is when they meet Olaf. <laughs> oh, too hard. I'm sorry. I, 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 I was just... Yeah, that one is funny. It yeah, is. it really is. Hmm. I think my favorite part is when Anna turns into ice. She has to choose to save herself or to save her sister. That's the one I'm pretty sure I like the most. That's a really good scene. I know, awesome. right? I think we should recreate that. Yeah, let's go get into costumes. Yeah, let's go make Woo, so much on. fun. Let's go. You said? Oh, hello. I love that fur. <laughs> I like your snowflakes. They make you really look like Elsa. Thank you. What's with the scarf? And the glasses. Alana doesn't wear anything like that. Here's your skirt. <laughs> okay. Skirt. Uh, uh, and my skirt. It'll be much, much more fun if we reimagine scenes. I like the skirt, but I think we should do it how we would want to do it. Not oh, how you Okay. Ooh. Let's go to the scene. <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Come on. Anna? I can't see anything in all this fake snow. Kristoff? Where are you? Anna, are you okay? You look like you're freezing. Well, that's because I am freezing, literally. Where is she? Have you seen her, Sven? Kristoff? Kristoff? There she is. Hold up, cut, give me one moment. Okay, I'm ready. Woo, it's hard to run on ice. Oh no, oh no, where is she? Oh no, Anna. Elsa, I finally found you. Hans, Elsa, Hans, Elsa. Don't do it, no, no, no! Ooh. No! Popsicle. 
I mean, what am I supposed to do? I, I can't unfreeze you or anything. Oh, this is so, oh my, oh. If, if you're frozen, that means I get full control of the TV, the remote, and the snacks. Wait, what? <laughs> We're still doing the scene. Anna, I mean, Elsa. Oh, oh yeah, right, sorry. I love you, Anna. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Anna? Yeah, you're on Frozen. I hope you have a good time living your best life. <laughs> we will. Thank you, Olaf. Let's celebrate with a dance party. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. I love being Elsa. <laughs> and I loved being Anna. <laughs> and I loved being Hans, Kristoff, and Olaf. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. And I hope you enjoyed our acting. Thank you so much for watching the Frozen Friends Club, where we go into the unknown and always find something fun. I'm Angela. I'm Isai. And I'm Riella. Until next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>